بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چیف آف دا ایئر اسٹاف ڈیزگنیٹ فارمر چیفس آف دا ایئر اسٹاف پرنسپل اسٹاف آفسرز ویٹرنس ڈیئر کامریڈس اینڈ کولیگس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمین السلام علیکم اینڈ اے ویری گڈ مارننگ ٹوڈے of my tenure as chief of the air staff i bow my head in great humility before allah almighty for his boundless blessings and guidance throughout my career no doubt serving pakistan air force over four decades has been a privilege honor and a matter of immense satisfaction for me Certainly, I cannot think of greater honor than leading one of the finest air force of the world. On this occasion, I express my gratitude to each member of Pakistan Air Force for their remarkable contributions towards making Pakistan Air Force a strong element of national defense. In particular, I am grateful to all my principal staff officers for their wholehearted support, partnership and cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, on this very day, three years ago, during my inaugural address, I pledged to you and to this nation that we would maintain, retain, and earn the title of pride of the nation and be second to none. Our adversaries will know that we will and we shall pay any price to defend Pakistan. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We upheld the pledge made three years ago and its manifestation was Operation Swift Retort. We have once again lived up to the nation's expectations and proved to be the guardians of our free blue skies. Our response was timely and well calibrated, which kept the adversary at bay at the time of assumption of my command in 2018. I also set certain guiding principles and core values. The foremost among these were operational preparedness, self-reliance through indigenization, merit, teamwork, empowerment, and welfare of the personnel. We relentlessly pursued these objectives and accomplished them successfully. More so, during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, we successfully preserved force readiness and ensured safety of personnel with Allah's blessing and the disciplined conduct by each member of Pakistan Air Force. Despite the testing times, PF made great strides on its journey to excellence and continued transformation for a next generation Air Force 2047, a vision that requires relentless pursuit in the years and decades to come. In my tenure, PF resolved for a clean, green, and compassionate Pakistan Air Force. Devise a strategy to recollect the past, reconnect with the present, and recharge for the future with the mindset of thinking to win, and laid major focus on strategic restructuring and expansion in training and operational domains. I thank my team for standing shoulder to shoulder with me and transforming the vision into reality. PF conducted inter-squadron armament competition leading to firepower demo. Moreover, participation of national and international exercises, including some of them Shaheen Saffron Bandit, despite COVID pandemic environment. Also, several initiatives were taken 
for contribution towards nation building, which include mayors for health care and promotion of education like establishment of diagnostic centers. For the welfare of our veterans, we have took mayors to provide them quality living and also possible endeavors were made for added focus on welfare of persons with special needs. Ladies and gentlemen, these were indeed tough milestones, but all this has only been possible due to the blessing of Allah Almighty and dedicated efforts by each member of this elite organization. I am indebted to each one of you who are standing beside me to achieve the targets set for taking Pakistan Air Force to greater heights of excellence. I am proud to leave Pakistan Air Force in the highest state of operational readiness, prepared to face any challenge befittingly under the able leadership of accomplished professional Chief of Air Staff designate Air Marshal Babar. On this occasion, I congratulate Air Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar on his appointment, inshallah, as Chief of the Air Staff Pakistan Air Force and wish him success in his new assignment. My successor is a sound professional with extraordinary leadership qualities and above all, he is an excellent human being. He takes over the responsibility of Pakistan Air Force fully charged and with spirit of great courage, commitment, professionalism, and specifically looking after every serving and retired individual of Pakistan Air Force. I am confident that during his tenure of command of Pakistan Air Force will scale to new heights of excellence, inshallah. My prayers would always be with him to lead Pakistan Air Force with exemplary traits. Dear comrades and colleagues, undoubtedly, Spending a major part of my life amongst the finest professionals has always been a source of unparalleled joy. I shall always cherish the memories gathered during all these years. I urge you to have firm faith in Allah and your capabilities. Stand for the right with confidence and integrity. Work with the sincerity of purpose and a complete commitment to your job. Remember, being united is the key to success and you must convert your challenges into opportunities. Indeed, Pakistan Air Force is a wonderful team and its beauty consists in its cohesiveness. Dear comrades and colleagues, I acknowledge your wholehearted support by each one of you in making Pakistan Air Force a strong element of national defense and a symbol of pride for the nation. I wish you Godspeed and pray that may Allah Almighty keep you in his gracious care and guide you in all your endeavors to defend this motherland in keeping with the glorious traditions of Pakistan Air Force. Pakistan Air Force Zindabad, Pakistan Armed Forces Zindabad, Pakistan Pindabad.